Sunday, March 10th, 2024. And this is the day that the best church in the world is celebrating the best pastor in the world. IBLC, make some noise! <laughs> Welcome to the Waymo Show. Brought to you by the Inspiring Body of Christ Church and the University of Dreams. Now, Pastor Russ said that he didn't want a lot of fanfare today, so we just want to take a few minutes to appreciate our amazing man of God. Grace, goodness, and mercy galore, Pastor Russ is 64. March the 9th of 1960 was a beautiful, foggy, 64-degree day in North Texas. R.L. Thornton was the mayor of Dallas, and Dwight Eisenhower was the president of the United States. The number one song on the R&B charts was Baby, You Got What It Takes. The number one TV show was Gunsmoke. A gallon of gas was 31 cents. A hamburger at McDonald's was only 15 cents. And if you took a trip to Parkland, hospital on that day, you'd find a beautiful baby boy named Ricky. Here's a fun fact. Sister Campbell was born on the same day in the same hospital on the same floor. Ricky Rush was raised in the projects of West Dallas, and at an early age, many people could see that this kid was something special. Ricky Rush started speaking for God, and he became a popular child evangelist, speaking at churches and events all around the country. And I didn't exactly explain it to him in a long way, so I just told him, you can put the ship into the ocean. Uh-huh. And you can put your in October of 1990, Ricky's life changed tremendously as he answered God's call to pastor a church where everyone was welcome to experience the joy of God's word. With nine original members and a rented office space, they started a ministry that would later be known around the world as IBOC. We could literally spend all day talking about pastor's accomplishments and accolades, but he has taught us that there's more value in being a regular old, regular old person that gives God the glory, and we appreciate him for that. We interrupt this program to bring you this regular announcement. Just say to yourself, say, I am God's regular old, regular old, regular old, regular old. It's a regular old, 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 now that's just how I buy word. Don't y'all go to the work tomorrow telling a uh, girl, God can use my regular regular. He's gonna take you straight up ghetto, but that came from your straight up ghetto pastor. Today's birthday video is brought to you by the word reglo. Uh, may I have the definition, please? According to the Rictionary, that's the Pastor Rush Dictionary, reglo is an adjective that means a regular old person, everyday people. Okay. May I have the sentence, please? God used David greatly, even though he was a reglo kid. These reglo t-shirts will be available soon, only at IBOC. Hello, everybody. I just want to say, Pastor Rush, you are doing ama- an amazing job. So many people would be happy because you are just spreading the word of God and letting people just hear your message. Pastor Rush... I love the way how you preach. You just break it down that way every kid can understand. You are doing a great job, and I want you to keep it up because you are just letting God use you. You are just letting him speak through you, letting him just get the word into you. Pastor Rush, we love you, and we appreciate you. Happy birthday! Hey, Dad, I just wanted to come on here and say happy, happy birthday. Pass the bush. Anyway, um, I wanted to tell you, like, I, I'm, as life is going, things are changing. Like, a ton of changes are on their way. But in this time, I've realized a few things for me haven't changed. I still see you as this 
big guy who does push-ups and allows me to sit on his back while he does push-ups. I still see this man who I say, oh yes, my daddy got bowling ball muscles. And you let me hold your arms, you lift me up. Like, I still see you as that guy. You're still my hero. Nothing has changed. As long as I have breath in my body, I'm still going to see you as that man. And even though as time goes on, life goes on, eventually I'll have to carry you. But you'll still have to be just that strong to allow me to carry you. So I still see you as that guy. Um, also, um, I remember us having a conversation and one day you were like, hey, one day when I'm gone, what is something that I have that you want? And I said, nothing. That conversation has stuck out to me for quite some time now. And the answer is still nothing. But I never gave you my answer as to why. Because when I said that, you looked like, what? And you kept going. So I know now you're going to give everything away. <laughs> and it's okay. Because none of those things make my dad. My dad made those things those are just all materialistic things like I never will get my like I only have one dad you only get one dad you only get one mom so the man you you made all of those things those things didn't make you and so to me it's like you've lived a life of when people say you know um carrying your heart like you literally have given everyone a piece of you and I don't know if they realize that and cherish it but I definitely do love you dad happy birthday Last year, we celebrated Pastor Rush's birthday with our friends at the Universal Circus, and man, we had a good time, even to the point where they came and visited the University of Dreams, they visited Higher Ground, and the staff members even joined our church. Well, they're traveling all around the country now, but they still took the time to give us a birthday message. One, two... What can we say about Reverend William Watley? He's been a strong supporter. He's been a mentor. And more than anything, he is genuinely excited about IBOC and Pastor Rush. Happy birthday, Pastor Rush. Happy birthday, Pastor Rush. My friend and my brother, I pray that God's favor will rest upon you this day, this year and all the days and years of your life. Peace be unto you. Stevie Wonder is a personal friend of Pastor Rush. They go way back. Pastor has supported Stevie, and Stevie has been to IBOC to support Pastor Rush. Well, yesterday, Stevie decided to leave a birthday voicemail for our pastor. Ricky, 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 Ricky. It's just me wishing you a happy birthday. A very happy birthday. And most of all, my prayers are with you as you prepare for your spinal surgery. I pray that it be nothing but a success. And as you know, God is covering you and you're getting through this. Um, fine. Uh, please let someone let me know how everything, everything is going and that you are good because that's what I'm believing it's going to happen. All right. Sending you my love. God bless you and your family. Talk with you soon. Love you. God bless you. Heavenly Father, I come to you with a heart of thanksgiving for Pastor Ricky G. Rush. I thank you for giving Pastor Rush to us to equip the saints for works of service and to build up the body of Christ, according to Ephesians 4, 11 through 12. We thank you for always providing him with laborers who will work to bring in the harvest. Bless Pastor Rush with every resource he needs to do the work of the ministry in the capacity that you have given him. Lord, bless him greatly. Enlarge his territory. Keep your hand upon him and keep him from evil, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. I ask that you will keep a hedge of protection around Pastor Rush and his entire family. 
protecting mind, body, and soul. I pray that you will anoint Pastor Rush with a greater anointing for your service and for your glory. May his preaching be accompanied with signs and wonders and the power of the Spirit. That he may fully and boldly preach the gospel of Christ. I pray that you will continue to impart spiritual wisdom into Pastor Rush. Let him hear you clearly and let him have your vision for the body. Give him understanding of your word that he may impart this understanding to those of us who you have placed in his care and in his path. Lord, may you bless him to have a word in season and out of season, filled with grace so that he will know how to respond to each person. May he always live and walk as a godly example to the flock. Keep Pastor Rush surrounded with godly men and women who support him. And who will wage spiritual warfare and intercede on his behalf. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.